everybody, this is Jolyn and Catherine. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my top 10 series where I'm expanding it into different things like this video, my top 10 most dramatic plants that I still have in my collection that's still somewhat living and I'm struggling with. So if you guys love this side of plant life and love seeing us talk about these type of plants, give this video a big thumbs up. And stay tuned because I am going to bring the channel over to Catherine's house and we're going to do her top 10 dramatic house plants as well, which I'm excited to see, um, to see if we have the same plant problems. Um, so without further ado, let's talk about my most 10 dramatic plants currently living in my collection. So here is the first plant that I would like to talk about. And this is what's left of two of my mother plants, my Pothos and Joy. So these were two full plants and I got the second plant as a replacement plant and they both didn't do well in my collection. I don't know what's going on because I feel like all of my pothos for the most part are drama free but for whatever reason and I know I mentioned this on the channel but Carrie's also going through the same problem too and she ended up giving her plant to you. So any thoughts, any comments about the pothos and joy? comments on the pothos and joy so i already had a pothos and joy but i actually really love carrie's pothos and joy and uh, hers is it's doing a, a little bit better than mine it's a beautiful plant but it's doing the exact same thing that the leaves are turning brown like this and i have to say it's it's still doing it the one i have from carrie it's in my bathroom right now and so I'd love to hear maybe some advice from your viewers because yes, I also have another dramatic pothos enjoy at my place and it is Carrie's. And I keep wondering, is it the water? Is it, could I, could I be doing something different because I let my water sit outside for 24 hours if it comes from the tap or I actually put water that goes through the Brita filter. Like I don't know what to do. What, what do you think? I don't know. These photos enjoy have been living full time in my patio. It gets watered at least once a week, maybe twice a week depending. Uh, but I never let this plant dry out. But for whatever reason, it starts like losing its leaves. So as you can see, like for instance, this one, this is like the perfect example. And then it just starts looking really sad. Do you think it's nutrients? I don't know. So, you know, I usually give myself three chances. Like, I'll purchase the plant three times. And after the third time, like, no more. Like, the maiden hair fern, I won't buy that plant anymore because I killed it three times. But, you know, I, I, I want to say that it's not me <laughs> because I do very well for the most part with my plants. But for whatever reason, Photos and Joy do not do good. So sound off in the comments below if you have this plant and it's thriving in your home. I would love to know um, your plant tips. We need one. help. Yeah, so this <laughs> one is not doing good. It's currently living in my greenhouse right now. And you know, by the way, I wonder though, maybe we all got them sourced in California. Maybe maybe the so sourcing's the source? kind of the same, possibly. I don't okay. know. Yeah, because when I got these in West Hollywood, they're full, like beautiful plants. I was so in awe. Um, but no more. Two and I think I'm done with the photos and joy. So next. <laughs> Here is what's left of my original curly spider plant. I do have a replacement curly spider plant that I bought. And I think I got that one in San Marcos. This one I want to say I picked up from the Los Angeles flea market, I believe. Oh, okay. And this is what's left of it. And this is living in my greenhouse. I was really upset when it started like started dying on me. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, I think what had happened was I went traveling and I didn't like being left unattended for over a week and then it just started just dropping its leaves. So this is what's left of it. And I feel like when these are doing well, the growth is prolific. They shoot off so many babies. So it's so strange to lose one of these. It feels so odd because they look so verdant and bushy and like a big afro, you know, like a big hairdo. So it's really strange when these go. Do you have a curly spider plant? I, I lost a curly spider oh, too. Okay. I lost a Why? curly spider too um, that I got as a free plant in West Hollywood. <laughs> okay. And Interesting. And I'm not sure why I lost it. So what I've done now is Carrie gave me some babies oh, from okay. her curly spider and I propagated them. They propagated very, very well in water. And as of about a week ago, they're in dirt now and 
we'll see. Okay, so this is what's left of my original one. I did get a replacement one, which is doing really well so far um, in my patio. But this right now is living in my greenhouse and this is what's left of the original mother plant. So here is my original elephant's bush, my Portulacaria afra, and I have a bunch of them. I have a lot of cuttings from the mother plant in Arizona. This was actually purchased in Las Vegas over two years ago. And it was kind of interesting because when I was living in Las Vegas, I had a variegated one and had an all green one. And they both lost all of its leaves when I were in Vegas, Ooh, living gated. indoors. And I don't know, I don't know why. Um, I do have another second variegated elephant's bush. It's living in my greenhouse. It's doing actually really good in the greenhouse in a nursery planter, so I don't want to touch it right now. And this one is also living in my greenhouse, trying to get its leaves back. I do have a bunch from my Arizona mother plant doing really good from cuttings, but this was purchased in Las Vegas for like two years ago. And this is what's left of it or what I grew back. So these are all new growth. Catherine, any thoughts I, I, about the elephant bush? I can't bush? even look at that elephant bush right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> elephant bush does not do well for me Isn't in California. It does not do well for me. And I've already gone through my, like, purchased it three times or so and killed them all. I have to admit, I do have some elephant bush right now in a hanging basket, but it's only because it came in a package of succulents from Trader Joe's okay. and it was stuck in there and I wasn't gonna get rid of it so why not okay. why not but you wouldn't go elephant out and bush and I again. do not get along okay no, we isn't don't. that interesting <laughs> we're having the same plant problems sound off down below if you also have a hard time with the elephant's bush I know a bunch of you guys got cuttings from me from my Arizona mother plant which is doing really well for me but the purchase one from from Las Vegas not so much my fourth baby giving me a problem. What's left of my Peperomia Happy Bee? Come on, why? I love Peperomias, but there's a few dramatic ones in my collection. And this is what's left of my Peperomia Happy Bee. Have you had this plant in your collection? Had it, killed it. Oh. Won't buy it again. Okay. And it even lived in my bathroom. I didn't, I, I was, you know, babying it the whole time and it still didn't do well for me. I think I overwatered. I think it turned to mush, but um, it's not coming back to my house. Okay. Yeah, so this is unfortunate. Um, I had another Peperomia similar to this that's a little bit smaller with the leaves. I can't think of it, the name right now at the top of my head. Same thing. It just like vanished. This is what's left of it. It was living in a white planter in front of my bed and it gets the morning sun, but this is what's left of it. I don't know. I'm just How gonna... much did you have? Did you have several yeah. stalks? It was okay. a full planter. The one that I bought was only a, a little like a four inch pot or like a two inch pot a teeny tiny like this that i killed and i just said mm, too hard to too hard to care for so here you go we have the same plant problem again sound off down below if you have the pepperoni happy bean does it do well with you uh where does, does it, it like to live i don't like, know what conditions i don't does know it i like? might have to like this is gonna go back in my greenhouse and then we'll see what happens. Right, see that's what I wonder about. If it doesn't do well in the bathroom and if it doesn't do well in the greenhouse, I don't know. what does it need? I don't know. Maybe I should have just kept it out in my patio. Maybe my mistake to bring it in the house maybe. It likes being in a covered shaded mm. patio instead of my home. Alright, so here is uh, what's left of my devil's backbone. Kit Kat. They look so dramatic when they have all their <laughs> spines, all their vertebrae, I'm gonna call them. Like we got the vertebrae, at the what do the vertebrae time. look like? Vertebrae look like that, maybe? Uh, I know, mine's long gone. Mine gave me trouble from the get-go. So it you started see, losing yeah. all the little leaves. I'm gonna have losing. to like prune this section off, but all of the leaves have been slowly coming off. I don't know what to do with him. Catherine and I got ours the same time in West Hollywood and actually didn't you give this to me as a birthday plant? It was really cool. Maybe that was the case. Yeah. I remember yeah. we both saw it and we were both like, wow, this looks fabulous. Yeah. But uh, this might be very telling. Were you there with me the day that someone was bringing their devil back, devil's backbone back because oh, it was dying? I was there at one point in time and someone was bringing this plant back and they said it's not living. I don't know what to do with it. So we can't be the only ones having issues with this plant. Someone, one of your viewers must have this and have some advice for us. I mean, it looks okay, but I know this is not what 
it looks like originally. It's when not we what it, it looked like when we bought it. So I'm gonna do like a prune up. I'll give it some nice fertilized water and go from there. This lives full time in my patio. But again, I mean, it looks okay, but this is not what it should be looking it's like. It's not ideal. No. <laughs> so another problem child. <laughs> Here is my next problem child. My Daikin Baccia that actually Kira gave me from Las Vegas because it wasn't doing good in her home. Um, any... Any thoughts on the Daikin Baccia as I prune my sad looking leaves off? <laughs> uh, last time you were at my place, I had just purchased a Daikin Baccia. And remember you had to tell me the name. I had to go over that name three or four times because that's a hard name to remember. And mine is so pitiful right now. I am just not sure if it's going to make it. Hmm, interesting. So, of course, I mean, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. But I've noticed that it does give off a lot of sad looking leaves and I'm constantly pruning and taking off of the plant. Um, but then look, then it'll have a really nice leaf. These are the ones that are the most frustrating because you really want to keep showing them love because they keep showing you that there's a little bit of hope that they're doing okay. So, this is a very finicky plant. It, um, it shoots off new leaves, but at the same time, they go through a lot of leaves. I'm constantly pruning this plant. So I, I consider this a high maintenance office plant. This is a very uh, popular office plant that you see in like doctor's offices, but um, Kira gifted this one to me as a rescue. She's like, take it off my hands. It's not doing good in Las Vegas. And this lives on my uh, dining table and it does come out every now and then to get some natural light in my patio but again it's one of those finicky plants like it's still living but i constantly have to tend to it so if you decide to put this in your office you want to have the guy that comes around once a week and takes care of it for you right because this one you can't leave it alone it'll start giving off more yellow leaves and it just looks really sad but this is kira's original plant baby in las vegas and i'm, I'm trying to do my best here with what's left of the plant um but you know could be worse but dramatic house plant he's hanging in there here is my saddest oxalis i don't know what to do with this guy i don't know Kat, do you think it's maybe he's the yellow. planter he's so yellow now what happened to him he was like full and thriving when i got him from i, I think i remember Lemon Grove. you were happy to get yeah. this one you were In very happy to get this one i think and now it's just like Sad. I don't know. It's living in my you bathroom. Know, why is he so yellow? I might have to just. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him out of this sand pot and put him back in a nursery planter and put him in my greenhouse and see if I can make this thing happy again. Do you again. think like it needs the clay to be more absorbing of the water? No, I'm not sure. Yeah. Also, what's like the interesting growth here? Do you see that? Where? Like what is that? Look, here? Yeah, that and right there. Uh, that looks like a different plant. Is it in the same plant? Yeah. Interesting. There's like some kind of, I don't know, if you take a look here, right here, and then right here, there's like some kind of interesting, like, those look like cacti. cacti. <laughs> I don't know why, and it's coming from the plant. It's like it's grafted onto the plant or something. Yeah, like literally, it, it's, it's, it's hitching a ride. I don't know, but it might be hitching a ride. This is like my most dramatic oxalis in my collection, and the rest of them do pretty well, but not this one. I I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I have it in the wrong planter. So I'm gonna give it fertilized water in a nursery Say planter. Say a little prayer for the oxalis. Yes, uh, and I'm gonna put this in my greenhouse so it'll live amongst the other babies that are trying to find itself. Here's another one. What's left of my once beautiful, lush peperomia? and i don't know what to do with this one i'm constantly like losing its leaves i mean and also just in general the plant just starts like withering away so this is what's left of what was once a full plant i've killed one. Oh, okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why <laughs> possibly over watering okay yeah i but i no that one's not a friend for me it's one of my most dramatic peperomias for whatever reason. I don't know. I have it in a terracotta planter and cactus succulent mix. I give it water maybe three times a month, if that. 
and for whatever reason I have lost all of its beautiful like parts except this one right here I mean it was nice and full when I purchased the plant I don't remember where I got this one but I think this is my second purchased one no more anymore after this one no moss even for you no moss oh my goodness is <laughs> what's left of my well my fern that I got in Las Vegas for six dollars I purchased it because it was six dollars and I collect ferns. And they're so neat looking. I don't know. I don't know if it's because of the planter I have it in. What do you think? Oh, because it's like a painted or a, a glazed. Yeah, but, glazed. It, but, it, but it's not terracotta where it right. dries out really quickly. Right. The ferns like to be in moist environments. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this plant. It's going to go back in a nursery planter and it's going to go in the greenhouse. And I wish it I luck. think so. Yeah. It may retain more moisture that way. But it's been living in my bathroom in this beautiful white planter and so no more. I've killed one of these and I apologize Carrie because Carrie gave me one of these. It's um, Cretan's Break and it it needed so much water and I'm not, I'm not sure if I just didn't attend to it enough as far as the watering is concerned but I put it in the shadiest darkest place that I knew I watered it a lot and it, it still couldn't make it so another dramatic house plant that I won't be purchasing again all right so this is number 10 and it's okay but again it for me and I would like to hear your thoughts in a second uh, my kangaroo paw fern is very dramatic this lives in my bathroom full-time in my macrame hanger above my shower I try to water this once a week. I think I should maybe water it twice a week because of how finicky it is. But as you can see, sometimes also too, like plant characteristics, they kind of look like they're dead, but not really. Uh, but you can really tell when this plant is sad. Um, I watered it this morning, but this is like the condition right now of my kangaroo paw fern. Thoughts on you? How's yours doing? Okay, so... I love my kangaroo paw because I think it's just a really interesting looking plant but I won't quite say that it gives me drama but I will say that it takes an effort to it keep this constantly alive. needs watering so when yeah. I do when I go around and I do my touch test you know sort of like once weekly when I'm have enough time which is several hours probably for you and me to water right. all, to water all our plants this one is the I, I it's always going to be dry. It's always going to be dry. It's probably always going to be the driest one that I touch. And every time that I water it, there are usually a few leaves that I have to pull all the way out. Mm. So it does need constant maintenance, but I love mine. So I'm not, for me, not, I don't think as much drama as for you, but it takes a lot of work. So if yeah. you buy one of these, you're gonna be working. Yeah, you know, I'm watering mine like once a week. I'm missing it twice a week, but I think I have to put more attention to it. Um, I, it oh, and mine's in a much bigger pot. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine's in a bigger pot right. than yours is in. Um, I've been traveling the last two weekends, so I've been gone five days at a time, two weekends in a row. It didn't like me being away. Again, it's still alive. It's just a plant that I constantly have to Needs a take lot of care love. of. So this is, um, you know, it loves attention, this plant. What can I say? Um, but that is going to wrap up my 10 most dramatic plants currently living in my collection. There's a handful of plants that are no longer with me that I won't be purchasing anymore, like the Hawaiian snowbush and the maidenhair fern. Um, and the alocasia poly those three plants I purchased three times and I will and caladiums Yes, um, I won't be purchasing those type of plants anymore because they're no longer with me with me And I've tried several times, but these are the plants that are currently living Still in my collection, but giving me a hard time So thank you Catherine so much for sitting down and pot talking with me apparently we have had the same problems And I think you know, we're not being haters. This is so educational it's so neat to hear from you guys, any tips that you might have for us. And I think we had a, a lot of plants in common yeah, that I were know. very hard to <laughs> keep. Yeah, it's so interesting. 
tell us if it's just us. <laughs> yeah, and and stay tuned because I will be going over to Catherine's house when I'm back from Oakland and our schedules match up to talk about her top 10 dramatic plants that are currently living in her collection. And I love to- Plant mama those, drama. Yeah, I love to see those plants and plot talk at her space. So if you guys enjoy seeing Catherine on the channel and in my space, give this video a big thumbs up. And thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell, subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I'm well over 500 videos. Catherine's in a bunch of them. And stay tuned because I will be filming summer plat tours for all of my plat friends and my collection before I go to the Philippines in a month. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed seeing us plant talk about dramatic plants that are not doing good in my collection, sum up down below because this is part of plant life dealing with these Germanic plants. And you never know when you buy these plants how well they're gonna do with you or not. Um, but you know, it happens to the best of us and it's not you, it's the plant, right? Maybe a little bit, <laughs> us, maybe. So stay tuned, Catherine will be back on the channel soon. You can find more on my blog at lojulin.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye. <laughs>